Advanced Feedback Suppression Module. The AFS module allows you to use fixed filters for notching out problematic frequencies, thereby eliminating feedback. It also provides live type filters. The live filters scan the program material while the system is in use and provide on the fly feedback suppression if necessary. Advanced feedback suppression can be assigned as an input DSP insert. To open an AFS module, simply double left click on the AFS module from the program screen. Click the on off button to turn the AFS on. The mode drop down menu lets you select between fixed or live type filters. As previously mentioned, use fixed mode for initially ringing out the system and finding problematic frequencies. Once the fixed filters have been rung out, switch over to live mode for extra roaming protection while the system is in use. The detector high pass parameter restricts the low frequencies from being fed to the AFS algorithm's detection circuit, thereby preventing the AFS algorithm from accidentally setting notch filters at these lower frequencies. The AFS algorithm is very effective when the audio has a nominal level of 0 dBU. However, if the audio is too low in level, the AFS algorithm may not catch feedback as quickly as possible. By increasing or decreasing the sensitivity, you can adjust for audio that is either too loud or too soft and help the AFS function properly. The lift after parameter allows you to set the time in which the live filters will automatically be removed. This feature is useful if the microphone being used is moved or the characteristics of the venue change over time in which case the sonic quality can be enhanced by removing these live filters. If the offending feedback reappears after the live filters are lifted, the AFS algorithm will reassign these live filters. The Type drop-down menu allows you to select how wide the notch filters will be. With Speech being the widest and most responsive type filters, and music high being the most narrow and sonically preferred type filters. You can start with music high and work your way down. Basically, you want to select a type setting which enables you to eliminate the problematic frequencies while still maintaining a high degree of sonic fidelity. In other words, you're looking for that happy medium between protection and fidelity. The Live Filter Lift button turns the live filter lift function on or off. Therefore, when the live filter lift is turned off, the lift after parameter doesn't do anything. The live filter lift button must be turned on for the lift after parameter to function. The fixed filters parameter sets how many of the total filters will be assigned as fixed filters. The total filters parameter allows you to set the total number of filters which will be available. After the total filters parameter and the fixed filters parameter are set, any remaining filters will automatically be assigned as live type filters. So here we have nine total filters and four fixed filters. Therefore we have five live filters available. The clear live button allows you to clear all set live filters. The Clear All button allows you to clear all filters, which includes the live and fixed type filters. The graphical display at the top of the window will display the filters as they are set. The detailed filter parameter box in the center will display the detailed parameters for each filter after it has been assigned. This includes the filter's frequency, the width of the filter, and how much attenuation has been applied.